Welcome back to the Super Data Science How to Build a Chatbot series. We made it to part five, where we will be running and obtaining an analysis on our chatbot. So far, as a quick recap, we've established, we've set everything up, we've brought our import statements, we've set up our path for our file with pickle serialization for, for the data to be read. And we've also went through, we've set up our layers, you know, our LSTM, our sequence to sequence. We've established our atom optimizer, our categorical cross entropy, and our learning rate. All right, so this leaves us off. You know, we want to establish uh, an iteration with a few print statements to obtain an analysis. So when the machine runs, we're going to, you know, obtain some results. So. Let's take a look at this. As I said, here we're gonna run an iteration where it's gonna run, it's gonna take our seed, our text. It's gonna take a random sequence from our text file, pass in our path and our max length. It's gonna fit it on a validation. We have a batch size along with our batch size and epoch. Now we only have it set to one, so that means it's gonna run forward and back when it runs through it. And we have our run ID set. Now for this, just because it is a large set of it's a large data set. So to cut down on training time, just for the purpose of the series, you know, I highly encourage you to set it and train for longer, to test it, change um, sizes, add layers, et cetera, et cetera, and then, you know, let it run. But for this, you know, we only want to set it just, just for one iteration. We you know we're, we're gonna get some results and we're gonna take a look at them. And then we, you know, we can run it for 10, you can run it for 50. So for this, we're gonna run it through one iteration, Again, it's gonna run forward and back, and again, and it will output us with our results, and we'll see how it's training. So that being said, we have everything ready. We have all our imports in, we have everything pathed correctly. TF Learn does a great job of demonstrating this. Um, you know, our atom optimizer, categorical cross entropy, we have a, a learning rate set. You can also check in your um, main Anaconda folder, you can also see the, the temporary files, the um, save files that, that it's using, you know, and it's pickling, um, and also saving the, the, the data set at the point. So let's uh, run it and we'll see what results we get. All right, so we see it's loading and vectorizing our text. Now we do see the text total length, it's uh, four and a half million data points. We have 67 distinct characters and uh, about 1.5 million total sequences of text to train through. And when we uh, change the iteration, it definitely cut down on how many times that we're gonna have to run through and train, but you can see that you know our, our results, in theory, won't be as accurate. So every time it's running through, it's, it, it's training. We have our run ID and our log directory. And now we see it started training. So let's let it train and we'll wait and we'll come back and take a look at our results. Again, you know, you can visit the TF Learn documentation. They do such a great job of setting up this, this quick path, this quick method into training a LSTM uh, on both, both statistical and textual data. So we can use it for our chatbot. All right, let it train and we'll come back. And just as a note, it may take a little while to run and train. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Super Data Science channel. We get up to date and new information weekly. And please feel free to like, comment, share, and post any questions for the video. All right, see you in the next video in our series where we are going to look at our results.